Did you know that this one command allows you to route any app? Yep, that includes Nmap, Curl, and other applications through the Tor network in seconds. This doesn't matter whether you're an ethical hacker or pen tester or just someone who's interested in privacy. You can send all your traffic through the Tor network. Doesn't just apply to certain applications. Any a Linux-based application can have its traffic routed through the Tor network. So on the Tor project website, if we go to blog, we can see this blog entry introducing Onyx. And they talk about how when launching privacy critical apps and services, developers want to make sure that every packet really goes through Tor. If you have one mistyped proxy setting or a single system call outside of the SOX wrapper, your data is suddenly on the line and you can be tracked. Your privacy will be compromised. So they are launching Onyx, a small command line utility providing Tor network isolation for third-party applications using Linux namespaces. So on this laptop, I'm running Kali Linux. I'll open up a command prompt and I can literally just type Onyx Firefox. And this launches Firefox in its own Linux namespace. So if I search for what is my IP address, What you can see here is that this is showing as my IP version 4 address, and this is showing up as my IPv6 address. According to what is my IP address, I am based in Germany, which is not true. So my traffic is going through the Tor network by typing that single command. So let's have a look at a different website. Showmyip.com shows something similar. This is my IP version 4 address. IPv6 address is not found. Supposedly, I'm in Germany at the moment. So they both picked up that IP address. Okay, so I'll close Firefox. Now, what's fantastic here is that I can use command line utilities as well. So I could run a bash shell directly within Onyx. So I could use curl and see what my IP address is. And notice my IP address is displayed as follows, the same as what we saw previously. Now, this bash shell is running in a separate Linux namespace. So if I started Firefox here, and did the same test again, notice my IP addresses are showing as follows, 185, 220, 101, 100. Again, according to this, I'm in Germany, which I'm not. Now, just like I ran Firefox using Onyx, I could do the same thing with curl. So rather than starting bash, I could put Onyx in front of the curl command and then connect to a website, and this will show me my IP address. But again, this is through the Tor network. I could also do something similar using IPv6. So Onyx curl IPv6 in this example. And notice there's my IPv6 address. So in their blog entry, they talk about Tor plus namespaces equals love. And we told that namespaces are a powerful feature that gives us the ability to isolate Tor network access of an arbitrary application. So in my example, I simply used curl and Firefox, but I could also use other applications. So I could type Onyx nmap and then scan a website such as davidbomble.com. And there you go. So these two ports are open on that website. The difference here is rather than scanning the website directly so that the website knows that I've scanned them, here the Nmap scan is going through the Tor network. Now you don't have to just connect to ClearNet websites. You could connect to Onion websites as well. So here's an example. That's not resolving here. But notice you could, per their documentation, connect to Onion websites. So I've shown you how to perform a simple HTTPS query using Onyx. Here's IPv6, here's an Onion website, and you could also enable logging if you're a nerd. You could use the command Rust debug, and you can debug the output. A lot of output shown here. But as you can see, the Cypher suite is TLS 1.3, AES 2.56, SHA 3.84. So if you're into seeing what's going on, you can debug your session and get all this output. Now, if you're interested in learning more of the details, you can have a look at this blog entry, which I've linked below. They give you a comparison between Onyx versus Torsox and shows you as an example that Onyx is a standalone application but Tor Sox requires running the Tor daemon. Onyx uses Linux namespaces. This uses an IDSO preload hack. 
Onyx works on all applications. TorSox only works on applications making system calls through libc. The disadvantage of Onyx is that it's only supported on Linux. Some people won't see that as a disadvantage, but just be aware of that. Whereas TorSox is cross-platform and has been battle proven for over 15 years, whereas Onyx is new and experimental. What's interesting is Onyx is written in Rust, whereas TorSox is written in C. So have a look at the blog if you need more technical details. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to install Onyx. The installation is actually very simple. Now on the Tor blog, they show you how to install Onyx. It's a simple command. This is the command that you need to use. But before you run that, you need to make sure that you have Rust installed on your system. So to install Rust, the recommended command is this. So I'll copy that from the Rust website. So in Kali, I'm simply gonna type that command. We asked whether we wanna proceed with the standard installation. I'm gonna press enter to say yes. So Rust is now being installed. Now notice one issue here. If I type Rust dash version, that's not going to work. What we need to do is shut the terminal down and then reopen it. And now if I type Rust C dash dash version, you can see that the Rust version installed is 1.8.7.0. So now that Rust is installed, I'll go back to the Tor project and copy the command to install Onyx. And I'll paste that in to my terminal and press enter. So software has been fetched and downloaded. This will take a while, so we'll speed the video up at this point. You simply need to wait for this to finish. And there you go, Onyx is now installed. What I'll do now is run Firefox, but via Onyx. Now this will take a while because it's going through the Tor network. So I'll go to another website, verify that I'm a human. IP address is shown as follows. It tells me that I'm in Germany once again, back on what's my IP address.com. IP address is shown as the same. So 185.220.101.96. And again, that's showing that I am currently in Germany, it seems, even though I'm not. Okay, so fantastic development from the Tor project. It's fantastic that you can run a single command and run various applications through Tor. You're not just restricted to certain applications. You could run all your commands in Bash as an example through Tor. You could use Nmap, you could use other tools directly through the Tor network. Hopefully you've learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm David Bombal and I wanna wish you all the very best.